goes, it must be great to be nice to be you. He, he says, I wouldn't have it any other way. What did he do with the police? He never showed him a driver's license or anything. What did he do with those policemen to change the whole atmosphere, the whole environment, which is so important in sales? How did he? Familiar, familiar he out, 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 One at a time. Like familiar out, out, I can't pronounce it. Familiar out, <laughs> What did he do when he, maybe he knew that name, maybe he didn't. Maybe it was all BS. I'm not sure. He interrupted the pattern. He inter what do you mean? He said, are you Tommy's son? He, he started pattern asking questions. The person that asks questions has control. Don't you agree, Claude? Yes, and he used the familiarity. He used, oh, I know you. Oh, are, are you his son? Are you? I knew your grandfather. I went to his retirement. How's the family? How Do, do you have any kids? Oh, well, we're working on it. Oh, well, that's a lot of fun. Good luck to you. I mean, did he totally change? Can You can just see. Only Bill Murray could carry this as well as he does. He changes the whole environment. How much of our, in sales, how much is our responsibility to create you know, you get a total stranger on the phone or on Zoom or in person. You get them and they and they know you're there for con some kind of sales presentation or something. And they already have preconceived notions in their mind. How hard or how much responsibility do you have to change that environment to make it conducive, to get them to like you? How hard is that? It depends what you observe. Yeah. But familiarity, the pattern interrupt that Mark was talking about, what's the thing I always tell you guys when we get on the phone with someone, what's, should we read a script, say, hi, I'm just reaching out, hi, is the home available, or should we sound like, hi, I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to you, Mr. Driscoll. I've got the paperwork in front of me here. Um, it's probably sold by now, right, sir? Is that, <laughs> is that something you could do on a cold call? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why do I do it? Same reason Bill Murray spoke to that cop that way. Hmm. Familiarity, creating an environment, changing. The cop went there. It's a traffic stop. It's late at night. Cops hate getting out of their car. OK. And, you know, and and now and he's ready to write him a ticket and be and you could see he was very almost confrontational with the guy because Bill, you didn't see the earlier part. Bill was driving real fast and zigzagging out. He deserved a ticket. By all means, and he, he took the guy. He took the guy's authority away from him too, because once he started talking about his his dad and how long he's known him, it's like the cop became like a little boy again. Yes, absolutely. He, he asked questions like he was the doctor. Oh, I like that. A lot of questions. Are you Tommy's kid, Tommy? Oh, oh wow. Yep. That's questions. We're a question. Guts is a question based system. But you can't just ask questions like you're cross examining somebody. You have to ask questions in a nurturing way. Okay, so you get them to lower the drawbridge, drop their guard for a minute. So important. In a lot of these movies, you'll see that consistent behavior. Let's go. I got a lot of stuff here today, guys. Did a little bit of research. Let's gotta go. find the common ground. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, you're going to love this next one. This is a good one. It's from the uh, founder. You guys remember the McDonald's story? Great movie. And, oh, just a, just a great movie. And I forgot his name again. Help me out. What's his Ray name? Kroc. Ray Kroc. Uh, yeah, but what's the actor's name? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Thank you.